In this video, we are going to discuss quicksort. So first we will see how this quicksort technique works and then we will take one example array and apply this quicksort technique to sort that array. Now let's see how quicksort technique works. So the basic idea behind this quicksort technique is to use divide and conquer method. Like how binary search algorithm is using this divide and conquer method to find a search element from the given array. So first it will divide the array into two subarrays by selecting this middle element as a key element. Then the search element is directly compared with this middle element. If both are equal then it will return this index. Or if the search element is less than this middle element then it will be searched on this left subarray or if the search element is greater than this middle element then it will be searched on this right subarray. So this is how binary search algorithm uses this dividend conquer method to find a search element from the given array. Now in the same way in quicksort also you have to select one element which is pivot element or you can say key element. Now how to select this pivot element? See, this pivot element can be selected in different ways. Like you can select this first element as a pivot element or this last element as a pivot element or you can take any random element as a pivot element. And also you can take median element as a pivot element. Now, the second step is using this pivot element, you have to divide this array into two sub arrays such that the elements in the left sub array should be less than this pivot element and the elements in the right sub array should be greater than this pivot element. So you have to satisfy this condition while partitioning the array and then you have to repeat this step 1 and 2 for this left and right sub arrays until it left with one element or the sub arrays become empty. Now let us consider this array and apply this quicksort technique to arrange the elements in ascending order. So now what is our first step? First we have to choose pivot element. See here I am going to follow this first method that is I am going to select this 10 as a pivot element but you can follow these methods also that is up to you. Now whenever you follow divide and conquer method you need two iterators. One is start and the another one is end. Initially the start iterator will point to the starting index of the array and this end iterator will point to the ending index of the array. Now you have to increment this start iterator only when the element pointing by this start iterator is less than or equal to this pivot element. Otherwise you should not increment this start iterator. And in the same way, you have to decrement this end iterator only when the element pointing by this end iterator is greater than this pivot element. In that case only, you have to decrement this end iterator. Otherwise, you should not decrement this end iterator. So let's start from here. Now 10 is compared with this pivot element. Here it is satisfying less than or equal to condition so you have to increment this start iterator. Now start is pointing to 15. Here 15 is greater than this pivot element. Condition is not true so you should not move this start iterator and move on to the end iterator. Now 13 is compared with 10. Here 13 is greater than pivot element so the condition is true. And you have to decrement this end iterator. Now 16 is compared with this pivot element. Here 16 is greater than the pivot element. So the condition is true. You have to decrement this end iterator. Now 9 is compared with this pivot element. But 9 is less than this pivot element. So we should not decrement this end iterator. We should stop here itself. Now both start and end iterators are stopped. Now what we have to do? In this case you have to swap these two elements. 
Now again apply the same logic. Let's start from here. 9 is less than this pivot element. So increment the start iterator. Now 1 is less than this pivot element. So increment the start iterator. Now 2 is also less than this pivot element. So increment the start iterator. Now start iterator is pointing to 15 which is greater than 10. So we should not move this start iterator and let's move on to the end iterator. Now end iterator is also pointing to 15. Here 15 is greater than this pivot element. So decrement this end iterator. Now 2 is less than this pivot element. So we should not decrement this end iterator. Now both start and end iterators are stopped. See in this case you should not swap these two elements because the start and end iterators are crossed with each other. In this case you have to swap this pivot element with the element pointing by this end iterator. Now whenever you see starting and ending iterators are crossing with each other then it means partitioning of array is done and this is the left subarray and this is the right subarray. If you see here the elements in the left subarray are less than this pivot element and the elements in the right subarray are greater than this pivot element and this entire process is called partition 1 and if you see here after partition 1 the pivot element has moved to its correct position. Now you have to apply the same logic for this left and right subarrays. Now you have to apply the same logic for this left subarray. So the first step is you have to choose pivot element. So here I am going to select this first element as a pivot element. So our pivot element is 2. Now we need two iterators. The start iterator will point here and the end iterator will point here. Now let's start from here. 2 is compared with this pivot element. Here it is satisfying less than or equal to condition. So you have to increment this start iterator. Now 9 is compared with this pivot element but 9 is greater than 2. So the condition is not true. You should not increment this start iterator and move on to the end iterator. Now 1 is compared with this pivot element. See here the element which is pointing by this end iterator should be greater than this pivot element. But here 1 is less than this pivot element. So we should not move this end iterator also. Now both start and end iterators are stopped but they are not crossed with each other. In this case you have to swap these two elements. Now again apply the same logic. Here 1 is less than this pivot element so increment this start iterator. Now 9 is compared with this pivot element but 9 is greater than this 2. So we should not increment this start iterator and move on to the end iterator. Here end iterator is also pointing to this element 9. So 9 is compared with this pivot element. Here 9 is greater than this pivot element. So the condition is true. You have to decrement this end iterator. Now again 1 is compared with this 2. Here 1 is less than 2. Not greater than 2. So you should not decrement this end iterator. You have to stop it from here itself. Now see both start and end iterators are stopped and also crossed with each other. In this case what you have to do? You have to swap this pivot element with the element pointing by this end iterator. So these two iterators are crossed with each other. So partition 2 is completed. And for this left subarray this is the pivot element and this is the left subarray and this is the right subarray. And both the arrays are left with only one element so we cannot split further. So partitioning of this left subarray is done and till this 10 all the elements are sorted. Now you have to apply the same logic for this right subarray. So start iterator will point here and end iterator will point here. So what is the first step? First we have to choose pivot element. 
here we are going to select first element as a pivot so 15 is our pivot element now 15 is compared with this pivot element so the condition is true we have to increment the start iterator now 16 is greater than this pivot element so we should not increment this start iterator let's move on to end iterator here 13 is less than pivot element so here also condition is not true we should not increment this end iterator now both start and end iterators are stopped but they are not crossed with each other in this case you have to swap these two elements now again follow the same logic 13 is compared with 15 here 13 is less than this pivot element so increment this start iterator now 16 is compared with this pivot element here 16 is greater than this pivot element so condition is not true we should not increment this start iterator and let's move on to the end iterator now end iterator is also pointing to the element 16 now 16 is compared with this pivot element here 16 is greater than this pivot element so the condition is true decrement this end iterator now again 13 is compared with this pivot element here 13 is less than this pivot element so we should not decrement this end iterator now both start and end iterators are stopped and they are crossed with each other in this case you have to swap this pivot element with the element pointing by this end iterator so these two start and end iterators are crossed with each other so partition 3 is completed now if you see here for this right sub array this is the pivot element and this is the left sub array and this is the right sub array and both arrays are left with only one element we cannot split further so partitioning of this right sub array is also done and the elements are sorted now let's summarize the steps which are involved in this quick sort so the first step is you have to choose pivot element and then using the pivot element you have to partition the given array for that you need two variables start and end and the start variable will point to the lower index and the end variable will point to the higher index and then you have to increment the start variable when the array elements are less than or equal to this pivot element in the same way you have to decrement the end variable when the array elements are greater than this pivot element and then when these two conditions are not satisfied then you have to swap the values pointing by this start and end variable now the third step is when the start and end variable are crossed with each other then you have to swap the pivot element with the element pointing by this end variable and then you have to apply the same logic for the left and right sub arrays until it becomes empty or it left with only one element and that's it for this video if you have any doubt please comment it below and in the next video we will see the time complexity of this quicksort technique until take care and bye bye